part two of the box number three in the Haunted Mansion box subscription. We're going to start with the spirit board and then complete the rest of the tasks. In our previous box, we looked at the saucer and the thaumatrope. Always going to mispronounce that. <laughs> the Grim Gazette and the letter. I know Madame Leota can be a little chatty, so hopefully she's dialed it down in this one, and let's get started. Before our current troubles, this ghost portal allowed traveling spirits a more precise means to locate specific mortals whom they wished to haunt. I believe Professor Waithel R. Bender has included a set of instructions on the proper assembly of this device. However, before we can use it, we'll need to use the spirit board to perform the incantation that you have uncovered. You hold in your hands a spirit board, an artifact of tremendous power. When I was a medium among the living, this board was one of my most powerful tools in amplifying connections with the etheric realm. Now that I am of the spirit realm myself, I have no need of such solid mechanisms. Perhaps it will help to guide you towards the answers we seek. Now it is time to unlock the powers of the spirit board. You will need the board, your device, and the bat figurine. Collect these items. Very good. Now, to set up your workspace. Find a clear table where you can place the board flat in front of you. This may take some time, so find a place where you can be comfortable. Sit down in front of the board. It is vital that the board not be disturbed, nudged, or repositioned in any way after we begin the ritual, or the connection to the spirit world may suffer. So, position yourself and your board with care. Are you ready? Scan the board once more and we'll begin. Excellent. Now, look to the board. You will see a series of pale, greenish-yellow rectangles on the spirit board for your device. Place your device face down in the box that corresponds to its size making sure to line up the top of your device with the top of the box, just below the letters M-N-O-P. Now, do you have your bat? Hold your bat in one hand and bring it behind your back. Yes, behind your back, as if you are hiding it from the board in front of you. Concentrate on the bat. This bat is the mechanism by which you will activate the incantation. You will do this by placing the bat on the corresponding letters to spell out the fragments of the incantation that you have uncovered. Your link to this bat talisman is of the utmost import. Now you may remove the bat from behind your back and hold it in front of you. Before you begin, take note. If you look at the bottom of the bat, you will see a notch that aligns with the shapes on the spirit board. Make sure the bat fits flat and snug into its spot by aligning that notch. You will see one of the spots shows a bat icon. Place your bat talisman into that space on the board, marked with a bat, making sure that the notch aligns properly. Once you do that, I will know, and the spirit board will be ready. That's the bat. Now we shall see what you have found of the incantation. What did you learn from the saucer? Use the bat to spell out the first word. As I sense a letter, I will say it aloud. 
Okay. Wait for me to enunciate oh. each letter before you move to the next. Okay, so it was G for Grim. G. R. Uh. I. I. M. M. Grim! That's one of my favorite words. That's it. That feels right. Keep going. Spell out the next word. Grinning. G. Is the full line you have found Grim Grinning Ghosts come out to socialize? Yes. Use the bat to spell out yes or okay. no. Why? E. S. Of course, we should have known. It's one of our favorite refrains. But what comes before it? <laughs> we seem to be forgetting the most crucial parts. Yeah, like all of it. But did it do anything? Not yet. This is only one part of the incantation. Yeah, but this cannot be the beginning. There must be something else that comes before it. You should look to the Thaumatrope for the rest of the incantation. Yes. E. O. O. K. S. Spooks. Yep, that's us. Yes, spooks could be the start of something. Keep going. What comes next? A N D And Spooks and And who? Spooks and That is promising Keep going What is the next word? M O Spooks 
and mortals. That makes sense. Keep going. What comes next? M. O. B. I. L. I. Z. E. Mobilize! Yes, that's it! Spooks and mortals mobilize! But how does that fit into the rest of the incantation? Try flipping the thaumatrope around for a bit and see if something else is revealed. What happens when both sides combine? Spooks and mortals mobilize! <laughs> what comes next again? I don't know. But it's so familiar. This is definitely part of it. Yes. This is one of the incantation's middle lines. I feel certain of it. But we need the next piece. Is there more that can be revealed by the thaumatrope? T. O. To. To what? Two seems to be the start of something. What is the next word? R. E. S. T. Restore? Oh, yeah, sure. I will just get a hammer and nails and the two-by-fours and start fixing up the joint. Restore? Well done. Keep going. What word comes next? W. A. Focus. Now, spell the next word. A. L. L. All! To restore what all? What's a what all? To restore what all. I think we are quite close. Now, spell the next word. S E I R I T S Spirits to restore what all spirits Certainly not all spirits, for we are a diverse lot. And yet, there are some things that unite us. My dearest mortal, go on. To restore what all spirits... I think you are quite close. Now, spell the next word. E. Yes, of course, you've done it. To, to restore, restore what all spirits. spirits.
Nobel's Prize! Oh, I think I am remembering something. Me too. My keys! They were on the table! Our memories are coming back from the dead! And the ghosts can't roam and, and they, they can't go free when, when they're cooped up in eternity. Spooks and mortals mobilize to restore what a spirit tries. Grim, grim ghosts come out to socialize. I think it is working. You've done it! The mansion is reacting. But just how is it reacting? between the worlds. Make sure you've turned down the lights. Then, lift your device and check the spirit board for spectral writing. E. R. I. Z E oh, Certainly not all spirits, for we are a diverse lot. And yet, there are some things that unite us. My dearest mortal, go on. To restore what all spirits... I think you are quite close. Now, spell the next word. E. R. I. Z. E. Prize! Yes, of course, you've done it! To, to restore what all spirits prize! Oh, I think I am remembering something. Me too! My keys! They were on the table! Our memories are coming back from the dead! And the ghosts can't roam and, and they, they can't, can't go free when, when they're cooped up in eternity. Spooks and mortals mobilize to restore what all spirits tries. Grim, grim ghosts come out to socialize. I think it is working. You've done it! The mansion is reacting. But just how is it reacting? between the worlds. Make sure you've turned down the lights. Then, lift your device and check the spirit board for spectral writing. Yes, I can feel it. The etheric vibrations are so strong. Stronger than they have been in a long time. What does this mean? It means we have fixed it. But how can you be sure? We'll need to test it. Yes, we'll need volunteers to try traveling away from the mansion to see if the fog has lifted. Who will go? Whoa, whoa, hey, go! Hey, Ned! <laughs> Uncle Theodore! Oh, there 
there's Algernon. Be careful. Ooh, braver spooks than me. Well, it appears we have three volunteers who are going to test the ley lines. Now, we'll need you to assemble your ghost portal. Scan it when you're done, and we'll see if it worked. Ah, excellent. You have assembled your ghost portal. That should help our friends find you. Now, when you are ready, slot your device inside the ghost portal, as shown in the diagram. Place the portal on a table. Focus on our friends, Ned, Uncle Theodore, and Algernon. Let us hope that you've restored our ability to travel, and that they are not lost in the etheric fog. Grim, grim, ghosts come out to socialize. Hooray! It worked! Wunderbar! <laughs> I must alert the Grim Gazette immediately. We have a new issue to put out. Ezra, Gus, you fellas ready to get out of this joint? After you, buddy, buddy. No, after you. No, no, after me. <laughs> My mortal friend. We could not have done such momentous magic without your assistance. Your incantation cast a clear beacon through this fog of mortal doubt and disbelief. The sympathetic vibrations from your connection to the spirit world have restored our haunting ways. Any time you wish to receive another visit from the singing busts, scan the ghost portal again and place your device inside and they will appear. Every ghost in the haunted mansion is in your debt and you will be a friend to us eternally. <laughs> So that was part two of the Haunted Mansion box number three in the subscription series. Um, I didn't like it as much as part one, I will be honest. I liked the end part. The portal was so cool. Um, I did not like the spectral board because of this reason. Z. Z. So I kept reading M as Z, and then once in a while it would read B as C, and then they would tell you that you were wrong, and then you had to start all over again. It was a mess, and it was very frustrating, and there were curse words involved. <laughs> but I got through it. <laughs> so that was the only part that I did not enjoy, actually, of the entire box. Um, I liked the idea of the board, I and it did a pretty good job for a while, but there were moments there where they just outweighed the positive, which is terrible, actually. I loved the Pepper's Ghost effect for the um, for the busts in the cemetery for singing the song. I thought that was so amazing. That was by far the best part of all three boxes. That was it. They just that was the home run right there. They just hit it out of the park with that one. I also love that the cards this time are like a regular deck of cards, but with 13 in the deck. I thought that was really great because previously they were more like a tarot set or with the rooms and with the ghosts. I thought that was really cool too, to have another kind of set of cards included in the box. I love the series. I thought this was so much fun. I had a blast. And then I got to bring a little bit of Disney home. That was just incredible. And I would definitely do this again. 100%. I thought it was well worth the money. Because it was, it was just so much fun. I had amazing time. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching too. And I'm glad that I got to share it with you also. I love the Haunted Mansion ever since I was six years old. And I first wrote it. It has always been my favorite ride. It has a special place in my heart and I just adore it even when I make my children ride it for the 15th or 20th time during a trip. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will link down below the corresponding blog posts and the links for boxes one and two in case you miss them and see you next time.